The MMORPG game that Ainz plays has been confirmed to be pay to win. Lol, WTF, RG and Sama is too much for Scrub Lord Ainz Sama. Okay, so jokes aside, I'm just gonna say right now, this is the finale. And I'm conflicted. I, I am conflicted right now with this finale. On one half, I'm like, it, it was an interesting and enjoyable final episode. And on one half, I'm like, it felt very underwhelming. And I've brought up my issues before, which I'm not going to really take the time to kind of address because I've kind of already clarified these in the past couple episode reviews. So I'm just going to get straight to the point. I personally believe that Overlord as an anime series, I don't think Madhouse fought this series would have been as popular as it has become. Because seeing the way the production has been, seeing how some of the arcs have been handled along with the setup, it doesn't seem like Madhouse ever expected this series to be popular as it is. Like this popular in Japan and America or the States or anywhere around the world. I don't think they really expected the series to just sell this well and do this well. And to think about it like that... I think mainly what they were trying to do with this anime was kind of tease the light novel, like, oh, go buy the light novel. That's what this felt like, this entire anime. Now, looking at it, especially with this last couple minutes of this episode, it felt like a cop tease for season two, but I feel like it was more of a go read the light novel type of ending. That's exactly what it felt like to me watching this episode. Regardless of wherever Madhouse is wanting to take that ending for a season two to a, you know, maybe just saying go read the light novel, Whatever it may be, I don't think Madhouse ever expected this series to blow up like it did. And I wonder if Madhouse would have changed their priorities if they would have realized how hyped up this series would have been from the fan base. I just wonder how Madhouse would have changed things if they would have known what they know now after the series' conclusion. But now that I've said that, let's get into this final episode. So half the episode is fighting. And anyone that's been saying like, oh, there's lack of fighting or we need more fighting, they got what they wanted for the first half of the episode. So once again, I want to address the issue with the fight in this episode. Seeing Ainz and Shaltier stopping while they're talking in the middle of a fight, it irks me so fucking much because... Ainz and Shaltier should have been fighting while talking. It would have added more impact to the entire scene. And seeing how that was done, once again, it leads back to probably the production and the time and probably wanting to save budget and, you know, making animation for the different scenes. I felt like Madhouse wanted to take the easy route out on that when it came to some of the stopping between the action to talk. And that's one of the main things that really bugged me about this because some of the dialogue should have been like, inner monologue while they were fighting and then some of it should have been you know talking while they were clashing swords or you know shooting magic at each other and this fight really shows that it shows that madhouse should have executed some of the inner monologues and the dialogue for narration or something throughout the fights and as i said in my last review they should have used some form of way like the narrator from hunter hunter that would have been a really good way to kind of showcase what was really going on in the fight without slowing down the pacing of the fight. Speaking of pacing, this is something I want to talk about. I know there's huge, like, differences between the fan base right now when it comes to the pacing of Overlord's anime. You have one half the anime only that say, like, this series is too slow, it's slow-paced, and they shouldn't have had so much talking, and it should have had more action. I know that's, like, a lot of the anime onlys right now. I'm not saying every anime only, but I know a lot are saying that. And you got the other side, the light novel readers, that are saying, like, this is too damn rushed, and I'm one of those, I'm not gonna deny that, I'm one of those. I wanna say it's too damn rushed. And so, there's two sides right now to this entire series, and many are trying to figure out, like, what is really the right way to look at it, and I don't think there really is any right way, because at the end of the day, I don't think many anime onlys want to sit down and read a light novel, and not many, you know, light novel readers want to see a series they cherish get butchered and rush through content and not see some of the things they want to see executed properly, so you just gotta pick your poison, you gotta choose which one you want, and... At the end of the day, I think I enjoyed Overlord quite a bit, and it also got me into the Light Novel. It accomplished its job, GG Overlord, because it got me to read the Light Novel. Like, I am reading the Light Novel, I'm almost up to date, and I will be putting out some volume reviews on the Light Novel very soon, but 
if there's one thing that Madhouse tried to accomplish with this finale, it was to get more people to read the light novel, get, you know, the name of Overlord out there, and I think it did that job quite well, actually. I think a lot more people know about Overlord now, they know there is a light novel, and many people are probably jumping on board to read said light novel. I wanted to place bets that we're probably gonna have an English translation of Overlord very soon, maybe in about a year or so, the Overlord, you know, light novel might be translated and come to the States very soon, just because of how popular Overlord is. Now, where is the series going, especially with the cock teasing, like, at the end? There was multiple setups at the end of the episode that showed beginnings of different volumes throughout Overlord, like, volume 4 and 5, and I think some of 6 were showcased at the end of this episode, which set up with what was going on, maybe for a possibility of a season 2. So that, once again, leads into the point. I wonder if Madhouse is just trying to cock tease for a season 2, and say, like, hey, we might have a season 2, or if Madhouse is just saying, go read the light novel, and this is all what you should expect from the series. Whatever the case may be, I don't think we're going to have a season 2 of Overlord for a little bit because I think Madhouse is going to go back to the drawing board after realizing how popular the series is. And they're going to be like, oh shit, this is pretty damn popular. I think they're going to go back to the drawing board. They're probably going to look at, you know, what they can improve on. And when season 2, if it ever does have a season 2, which might be late next year, they might make it to where it's a 24 episode series and a lot better but who knows madhouse could also run it back into the dirt and you know rush the series and i don't want to see that i'd rather see the series never have another anime if it's going to be rushed but if madhouse puts you know their thinking cap back on and to get back on their game to trying to making a good you know season and adaptation i think it'd be pretty nice but for now, I think Madhouse is more focused on One Punch Man than anything. And I think the evidence is there that they care more about One Punch Man because that's one of the most hyped up series. You also have it previously earlier this year to where, you know, Japanese fans were asked, like, what's the one series that you want to see turn into the anime um, the most? And I remember that there was a poll and it said One Punch Man was the number one anime series manga readers wanted to see turned into an anime. So it just goes to show you that Madhouse probably knows their priorities and they're like, hey, we're going to focus all on One Punch Man, and so Overlord has suffered for that. This was kind of just used as a way to garner money, along with just, I guess, have a filler in between seasons for they can focus on One Punch Man. Whatever it is, Madhouse is not immune to failures as well as other companies, and I think we all know that very well after watching this finale of Overlord. Do I hate Madhouse? No. Am I upset with Madhouse? Yes. Has my opinion of Madhouse demoted just a little bit after watching this series? A little bit. But, I know Madhouse can do some good shit if they really put their mind to it. And they can do a really good light novel adaptation. And they can do heavy dialogue. That ain't the issue here. Because look at, you know, Hunter x Hunter. That's a dialogue heavy series. So I know for a fact if Madhouse wanted to and they put the team from Hunter x Hunter onto this series, they could do some really good things. But for now... This was a very underwhelming adaptation that could have been a lot better if it would have been adapted, but who knows? I'm not a anime producer. I don't produce anime, so I don't know exactly what was on the drawing board when it happened. And maybe my theories on maybe they were focusing more on One Punch Man instead of Overlord might be wrong. And maybe they were focusing on Overlord. Who the hell knows? So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.